After the Kenya Film Commission KFC criticized the move by Kenya Film Classification Board KFCB to introduce stringent laws against filmmakers in the country, KFCB through the CEO Ezekiel Mutua has come out guns blazing to defend the move. If I'm obeying the constitution and I take action where on a matter where even the president has also expressed himself in line with the constitution and the law, I would uh, dis be disappointed if somebody was to lynch me in the public of an issue like that. And I think anybody trying to twist this fact, no matter they are standing in society, in government, or anywhere, they should know that they are wrong and they should be ashamed. Last week, AFCB directed that all filmmakers operating without licenses to acquire them with immediate effect. The dictator was, however, met with resistance from the filmmakers and the KFC, timing it as a suppressive to the film production in the country. How do you live with your soul when you post on Twitter and say you are going to abolish KFCB? How? Who are you? Are you God? Where do you get those powers? Why not have the decency to call the CEO and ask, this is what I've heard, is it true? That's how we conduct business. So if you want to play popularism, sorry, not with Mutua. I subscribe to God and to the Constitution and to the boss I serve, the President of the Republic of Kenya. In April, the two organizations agreed to join concerted efforts in bolstering the level of film production in the country. Nonetheless, the move by KFCB to ban the Rafiki film has elicited a reaction and a further sharp rift bruise between the two organizations. And those who are contradicting us about the position of LGBT in Kenya, our position is the final because it's the constitutional position. It is the president's position. Anything else, you can yell, you can shout, you can demonstrate. We stand firm at Umbaduki and will not allow homosexuality in Kenya. Change the law if you have the power to do so. As this unfolds, the KFCB boss has been summoned by the Senate committee to further clarify the content of the new regulations.